Hi everyone and welcome to Rage Print. I'm Andy and today we're going to talk about mag tags. What's a mag tag you ask? Well, it's a strange one, so let me explain. So what is a mag tag? Well, simply put, it's a way of getting power from, in the case of like a droid, from the body up into the dome. Uh, now, power actually goes through a slip ring. Uh, so you take power from the battery or from a fuse box, uh, like we've shown with uh, Loz's droid or I've shown on Chopper. You take it up through the, through the, out the fuse box, up through the slip ring, and then, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. You take it out through the battery or the fuse box. You take it through to an adapter, which plugs into the slip ring. On the other side of the slip ring, on the top end, the bit that spins, is another adapter that connects into the dome. Now, traditionally, that adapter adapter has used a 24-pin uh, COM port. Which, uh, so, yeah, the, the, the slip rings are like 24 wires, which uh, there are four dedicated to power. Two sets of power coming from each side. So, imagine this is the adapter. Uh, you have... Put it out a bit better. You'd have your basically, you'd have power coming in two sides here 12 volts coming from the battery or the fuse board, I should say. And then across here, you'd have your 24 pin connector. And this is identical on both sides. Also, on here, you'd have lots and lots of um, uh, they call them um servo wire connectors um, they could things like a serial I, I, i2c um, ground wires all that sort of stuff now that's all well and good and i've got one of, the, one of these but i've got one of those in r2 uh the problem being is that if somebody who doesn't know that that exists decides to take r2's head off um you can rip the wires quite easily some clever person came up with the idea of magnetic electrical connectors, mag tags. Um, now I could I could go and buy them. You know, they're, they're, you know, you can get them from America. Um, take about a month to get here, I imagine. Um, plus there's a backlog because the guy is got a backlog. So I thought, well, why don't I just make my own? Um, so I cadded me I cadded up in Fusion 360 and I got this. Now let me I should point out I went through several iterations. So I'll show you what I've got here. I've got um these so these are called pogo pins camera focus. See on the back they've got um little connectors and then you um solder your wires onto there and then they track to each other and then you've got a, an electrical join going through. Uh, likewise I've also got the same sort of idea. So ground solders onto one of the outside pins, positive solders onto the inside pin, and same sort of idea of magnetically joins. So I designed this and you can probably tell how this is going to work. So that goes in there that way around and then that goes in there that way around and then the same on the other side and you just latch the two together um, now I had a thought about this and this sound this seems really good and you know it plugs in connects and job done you've got a solid connection uh, but the idea of the mag tag is that if someone just pulls them apart it breaks the connection if someone pulls this it's going to all in different directions before these dis disconnect. So I went back in Fusion and I came up with this. So if I show you the original one, you can see that the, the walls, connector walls are a lot smaller. I've shrunk, you know, cut most of that bit out, uh, thinned it very slightly as well. So all in all, it's a smaller, leaner. Um, I haven't actually tried to make sure these still fit yet. 
something to bear in mind. Ooh. <laughs> right. Let's pop you in there. They are magnetically attracted to each other. So the idea of B, there you go, that's a, that's a lot smaller. And then there's the other side, which you would just go ramp. And it is just a not a push fit, it's just a almost like a guide to where it needs to go. The magnets will do the rest, and if someone pulls, they just pull apart. Um the idea would be take the back off, you see I've got these pins here to locate it, although they're demi glued. So you'd have the solder connections come out the back, space for the wire there, the wire comes out, and I'm done. So that's the theory. Now I need to wire up the connections and to make sure it actually works. Just put it back together. Yeah, I need to wire the connections and make sure they actually work. Um, I'm fairly sure it will. We'll um, put them in chopper. So the idea being, this, this is one plug, this is the other plug. This bit, say, attached to the uh, dome plate in chopper. This is all hanging down off the dome on a wire and it just goes whoop, snap snap like that and I've got power pull the dome off that rips off with it hopefully just rips off like that and doesn't rip there I may redesign the back so it has like an um, inbuilt strain relief or make sure that I put a heat shrink around there to create a strain relief same on this side even though this side will be glued down yeah. make sure it's not going to Rip it out. So that's the plan. So the first thing to do, I think, is solder those wires up there. Well, actually, put them in here. Stick them in here. Solder the wires. Solder the wires. Push the wires through. Stick them in. And then just give it a try. Make sure it actually connects. Then glue that bit together, tap it, and that's pretty much it. So let's give it a go. Right, so honestly, I think that had that was harder than it had any right had been. Um, the solder connections on the um, these pogo pins were fine. The solder connection on the inner part of the magnet, also fine. The solder connection on the outer part of the magnet for the ground was awful. It just would not stick. So I've eventually got it stick. I'm hoping it hasn't come apart in the meantime. I've hot glued magnets in and should now back together. I think all the pieces are touching here to be so the next step will be to check that I'm getting power going through um, the multimeter and, uh, and that's on these ones as well to make sure this connected there and then I can put the backs on and I can trim these wires to fit and they'll go into the slip ring adapter I think if I uh, the mag tag. He's been doing the job. I don't want to yank it just yet because this would be this needs to be on there already. Give it stream relief. Also, I'm going to put a uh, find any other any left. Put some heat shrink around. So, uh, yeah. Next step is checking getting power going through. So that. Use a multimeter on the other side. Right, took a bit of faffing around, I had to resolder some connections because again these connections here were connecting. But I've got proof that I've got 7.59 volts, so that's what's coming out here at the moment. Just transferring through those wires 
put through those two wires. But I am fairly happy that's going to work. Um, those questions now do I, do I trust it? I mean, theoretically, it should work. So, there's only one thing to do really, let's try it. Yeah, let's try. All right, as you can see, I've hooked up the one in the mag tag onto Chopper's dome ring. And then that's got power and data going into these uh, Wago connectors, going down through the slip ring, and then off to here, which then goes into so off to here it goes into the rest of the droid. Um, so as we said before, power and then data. I've got two spare wires. So I've got four. Not that it really matters in this case for the mag tag, but I've got four wires going to power, and four going into negative, and then one each. For each of the data cables that I need, so I've got actually got four touching the outside neutral uh, ground, four touching the inside. Well, they're not; it's the big wires, but um, and then the two yellow and green wires. Sorry, the yellow and green wires touching each of those panels respectively. And then if I turn over Chopper's dome, you can see the other side, which effectively is the reverse and is going into there, and then. To all the other places so um, this is gonna be very hard for me to do one-handed so I will probably have to cut slightly and then pick it up with probably the dome already halfway on and the magtag connected um, so I should see in a second okay so I've got the magtag set up here and I've got the other half here and it just very simply just I say very simply just allow it to clip on and then just uh, get the dome on come on come on your bucket of bolts where is it So now we check, we get power. There we go, got power there, that LED's come on. That was, why are you not come on? Okay, so um, that's a duff connection. That's not actually anything to do with the mag tag because we have power going to here and here. And again, I have a, Problem with the connections inside Chopper's dome. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, um, so apart from sorting out the Duff electronics in the in the, the connections in Chopper's dome, we have power going into into it, as evidenced by the fact these are lit up. Sorry, look, that's 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 annoying me. That should be that should be doing that. Anyway, so um, yeah, that works. Um, obviously, massive caveat. Uh, I'm not an electrical engineer, um, this is all DIY, so if you do copy what I've done, just be aware that it is DIY, if you don't feel it's safe, don't carry on with it, look for another option. I'm going to make these files available for people to use online, uh, probably some sort of drive link in, in the description, and um, or put them on Michael Bradley uh, Facebook page if you'll let me. Um, yeah, as, as I said, if you don't feel comfortable using it, there is a proper one you can buy uh, on the Astromech forums. Um, but if you are confident enough, then yeah, try ahead, go go ahead, use use these, make them better, and then uh, yeah, see, let me know how you get on with them. So um, I'm gonna have a look to see why that LED is not working and why that's not working properly. It's not completing. Um, and. Uh, Thank you much. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.